Morning, you all, we've got the food. This is the Philly cheesesteak fries. And what is this, the pulled pork mo? Yes, pulled pork sandwich. And what is this, Jordan? So I believe this is called the Rocket City Chicken Fries. I just knocked over my display. I worked really hard to put that up. <laughs> Uh, gotcha, it appears go. to have some sort of french fry, hot chicken, macaroni, cheese concoction. Now, believe it or not, I'm excited about this. And it's kept separately yes. for a reason. Why, Miss D? It's D's? a veggie burger. They thought about us, you all. So, <laughs> if there's something for the vegetarians, the non-meat eating folks, you're included out here at Toyota Field. So, you taste this and okay. tell us how this is. But we're going we're gonna to start... Now, we don't have forks, yeah, okay, we really so don't. we're not going to be like mature yeah. adults here. But just grab some fries. Because forks are overrated at this yeah, point. I'm just going to grab some fries out of it along with some so of the chicken. If I just like, you know, grab it and put a little bit of everything in my mouth and, you know, were you ever taught in college that we're not supposed to eat on live television because it's not flattering? Oh, Absolutely. We, I was taught in college and then one of the first things I did when I actually got into this business was something with mm. food and they were like, forget what they said in college. Mm. You work for us, and this is what we're going to go ahead and do. Hey, I can never turn down food, okay? And this is what the veggie burger looks like, so I'm going to take a nice bite. Remember, it doesn't matter how flattering we don't look. Mm -hmm. mm. So one to ten scale. I would say I would say a good eight. It so, tastes like a black bean burger. Okay, so what makes a good veggie burger? Are you looking for a texture thing, or is it more of the taste? Both. Both. And I, thank you, Mo. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I love lettuce and tomato. I love your standard veggies to go with it. Mayo, mustard, all the good works. Believe it or not, maybe a few pickles. Okay. How's the... the okay, so this has real potential. It okay. Does. The chicken is, is a bit spicy, but I love spicy, okay? I love spicy food. But the combination of the chicken with the mac and cheese and the french fries, honestly, it all just works. All right. You, your thoughts? I will totally agree with you on that. I wish I did have a fork so I could actually, like, you know, eat the mac and cheese and it whatnot. Have, and it, now the heat from the chicken is kind of going into the back of my mm -hmm. throat. So, you know, <laughs> we'll have to get, some, get a drink off air. And they have plenty of drink options. Okay, so let's go for these. These are Philly cheesesteak fries. All right, dig in, dig in. And again, this is something Mo and I are going to quickly, we had a fork for. Well, yeah, I, can, like, I can at least take a fry without don't take any a fry. stuff on exactly. it. Exactly. All right. Hmm. Okay. The fries are good. The fries are good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Emily's texting me while I'm eating. Hmm. <laughs> and it's literally like a Philly cheese thing, mm -hmm. at least the topping, just on top of a fry. Saying, you know, I wish I had Simon Williams here, the guy from Philadelphia, who could actually <laughs> let us know what this is like or whatever. Nick Cousin will probably have to tell us about this as well in the they future. They will, but I feel like yeah. we're eliminating carbs here because instead of a giant bun, it's french fries, which seems wonderful. All right, well, I don't think we have enough time to taste the pulled pork, but everything was delicious, you all. We'll be back in a few.